I'm now going to talk about versioning and contributing to the Bone Lab repository. So we use branches and tags to version the code. Here we see we have a master branch. We have a branch owned by Matt Dalder for point picking, a branch owned by Ryan Plett for registering boundary conditions, and a branch owned by Tannis Kempf for reg offset. Might not be clear what these are, but we're basically producing branches so that students can work separate from each other without impacting other people's work. We then have a tag system. Right now we're on version 0.1.0. .0. We don't have any regular re release schedule, but essentially these tags allow you to know what version of your of software you were using at that time. So for instance, the software might change between the submission of a paper and when you get your reviews. So if that software has changed, if you click on this tag, you're able to go back to the exact software you used when you were when you submitted the paper. This is good for many, many reasons. With that, when you want to contribute, there's a little section in the README called adding a new application. It tells you a little bit about how to create a branch. You should be fairly familiar with how to create branches and work with Git. And if not, just talk to someone senior to you, uh, elder PhD, um, research scientist in the lab, or Steve himself, because Steve can do all of this stuff. If you're not internal to the lab, we ask that you create a fork up here and that you submit your, your changes back to pull requests. So this has been versioning and contributing to the Bone Lab repository.